Greetings, everyone. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In the previous episode, we found a relic goblin helm for a supposedly non-Ranrock loyalist goblin. I, I think he's true to his word. I don't think he's actually a Ranrock loyalist in disguise, but there were some things that he said to me that were a little bit sketchy that do make me wonder just a tad. We also got a whole lot of messages for new quests, one of which was from Sebastian Sallow, our good friend, and uh, we did kind of owe him a favor. I mean, I guess we sort of already paid him back, right? Did we? I don't know. He's our pal. We're going to go and meet his sister, who is apparently suffering from some sort of condition, and to do that, we need to go all the way to Feldcroft. So, we're going to go to Feldcroft. First, I'm going to quickly drop by this vendor, uh, Jalal Semi. Hello, Mr. Semi. And I'm going what to... What can I do for you? Sell some of the uh, things around. Uh, any rumors going about, actually? Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Okay. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. I'm sure. <laughs> what do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? So... While we go to Feldcroft, which is actually in that region that I flew by before, I may have edited it out, but you'll see it soon enough. Uh, it's when I tried I to, to find the sometime. spires, I believe. Huh. It is Seems a large enough, canyon. Place. I'll show you on the map. And I'm going to make this something of my exploration mission, as we're just going to head down here and we're going to attempt to do all the things we can along the way as we get to Feldcroft. Will we be able to get to Feldcroft this episode? Probably not. But this is the goal. This is the, the way forward. We have the waypoint. We know generally which direction we need to go to, so that'll be good enough. Also, we can uh, send the Firefly, which is actually sending us that way, but I know better. Worst comes to worst, we'll fly through the canyon part if there is nothing to uh, do. What am I being attacked by? I'm definitely being threatened by something. But I'm not sure what. Hmm. Ah. That looks promising. Let's see if we can't rescue some of these poor people that are stuck here. Give you a... Uh... Confringo! Ugh. Incendio. You're dead. Is that all of them? Protego. I'm still being attacked. Where? That's one. Um, that may be all of them. But let's uh unlock this treasure chest and <laughs> some pieces of dead spider over here. There was somebody chained up here, chained up, uh, cocooned here, and now I don't know where they are. So. That's a bit concerning. You can only assume they have died. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Yep, abandoned long ago, and... They come after me, they'll rest in ten graves. Glacius! I doubt it. It's actually going to be you resting in one grave, Mr. Poacher. Ow. That dog. It got me. Okay, so we have a little bit of a uh, castle here. Grab that ancient magic. I need to refill my bar Rebellion. here. And let's see what there is to be revealed around here. Can we actually go into here? No. At least not this way. Must be another way in, although there seem to be some chests over here. Which again, I cannot seem to get into. Through here. Uh, Incendio. Burn that away. Revelio. And let me guess. Spiders? Oh boy, it's a matriarch. Glacius. Confringo. Incendio. Propendo. Glacius. Confringo. Ooh, I have been had. Incendio. You're dead. Here. Cool. Ugh. Shame you're so foul. So there's just spiders everywhere, apparently. Uh... Incendio! 
Nope. Not today, pal. Although, I think you did technically bite me. Uh, 52 gold galleons. That's Rebellion. all right. Anything else in here? That's it, right? No, there is something up there. Um, I wonder. Is this a puzzle? Let's find Wingardium out if I can Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa this ladder. No, I'm guessing not. So, how do we get into that other thing? These rocks have seen better days. That's a clue. Maybe. Maybe not, actually. I need to get up there. Which means... No. Not, uh... Not that. How do I get up there? There's a box here. I wonder if, uh... Oh. Well. That's an easy way of doing it. Come out. Come on, pal. We're going... We're going over here. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't think it will be. Personally. No, we definitely need to go higher. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I see. Maybe. Perhaps. Definitely not. Whoa, hold on. Excuse me? What's this? Right, we were told about these. Motes of ancient magic. What's it gonna do? It's gonna move me into something there. Can I break this down? Not like that. What about with a force push? No. Defendo. Expelliarmus. That's Expelliarmus. Uh hmm. Incendio. It's also not gonna do it. This might though. Let's let's give it a try. I don't think we're high enough. We are definitely not high enough. Uh look. How much can we... Yeah, we can just straight up just bypass it with a broom. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we can grab this in a chest. 59 gold. Where... Revelio. Was the ancient magic? Wasn't it just here? Or did I just walk through it? I think I just walked through it. What the hell? Uh, interesting. Interesting. So, it must still be around. I want to go into there as well. Which I'm guessing I can do with my broom. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Okay. Revelio. It's just, we sort of absorb it and then move on. Hmm. Can I, uh... Depulsor. Yes, I absolutely can. Cool. Well, then we shall rise again. And uh, now what are we looking for? Are we looking for something else? Uh, any more signs of this ancient magic around? Surely not in here again, right? It's making the noise, but I don't see anything else. So I'm guessing it's gone. What about up top? Is there? Yeah, there is definitely a section up here that we can go into. Sweet. Uh, I'm guessing this we need to burn. Incendio. Indeed. And, oh god. Hi. Are you, uh... Oh no. What was that? Do I want to know? Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Collect traces of ancient magic. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's get ourselves... We've unlocked something. Ah, collect ancient magic traces here. Additional capacity added to your ancient magic meter. Nice. All right, so if we collect another one, then we can do that. Interesting. So that's going to be very valuable to find in that case. Cool. Question is, what do we have in here aside from, you know, spiders? Can we release this poor bastard? I think it's a bit too late for him. He's not squirming Insane. anymore, but you never know. A castle. Yeah, it did actually work. Quite stately in his time. And then this? Confringo! Boom. Uh, I think that was just bones. Grizzly. Did you, uh... Yeah, <laughs> dropping pieces of... Where'd the guy go? He just evaporated, I guess. Okay, well... <laughs> That's, uh... Slightly amusing, slightly disturbing. Just pieces of spider flying around. And we have... A what? I think we need to levitate this. Wingardium Leviosa. Onto here, 
Right. Yeah. Collect these. These are always good to have. And then what do we got to do here? That looks like... Yeah, the Leviosa spell, right? But why doesn't it work? No, I need to use the... Uh, this. Ah! That's going to open this. Cool. I should investigate. Nice little tomb. Lumos. Lumos. What do we have? Revelio. It's Revelio here? No, Lumos. then we have to Lumos again. Lumos doesn't uh, stay active if you do basically anything else. Let me guess. We're going to encounter more spiders. Although there's a snake shield, which seems to imply that maybe this is a Slytherin tomb of some kind. Dreamer's Nightwear. Okay. Okay. No, and then we have these shields again. We've seen this symbol. And now we're seeing all kinds of symbols. I wonder how actually relevant they are. Like, if they're just symbols for the sake of putting things on Rebellion. the walls. Which would be kind of a shame. I do like um, the art on the walls to actually mean something. It might be like the early precursors to the houses or something, because there are four of them. And they are very distinctive. You have the, the snake, the dragon, the phoenix, and the unicorn. Definitely four distinct magical beasts. Gotta wonder what they're there for. Um, you also just open, but lead to nowhere. What is the point of this cavern, actually? Depulso. Can't depulso it. I mean, we got the treasure chest that was in there, but then there's these two, which just lead to nowhere. Rebellion. Right? Is there anything else in the general vicinity? That's it, right? It's just this... Interesting. Because we can't get through there. Weird. Seems... Anticlimactic. All that to just get one treasure chest. Alright, well, uh, unless I'm missing something. You can tell me in the comments, though. Again, I'm recording so far ahead that... <laughs> I don't know if... Uh gonna catch that we're not gonna get everything in this game like i'm not gonna do the entire open world i think and there's just so much i'm gonna do all of the major points on the open world for sure like everything that looks unique i'm gonna do but every little treasure cave and all that i don't think it matters because again the, the gearing in this game there's not much to it and regrettably, we've already gotten the achievements for, like, owning all of the potions and plants. So, I feel like the potions and botany system is not, like, minimalistic, but there's not a Handy resource huge amount to it, which it seems like we're going to only be collecting the resources that we're collecting now. Like, we've basically seen all of the resources in the wild, <sighs> and it's just a matter of getting more of them. That we can make more potions and all that. Glacius, confringo. So I don't know how, um, aside from like the cosmetics that you can unlock, Dependent. I don't know how uh, rewarding the exploration Glacius. actually is. Confringo. It's kind of a shame, but at the very least, the interesting parts of the open world are interesting. So. Glacius, confringo, incendio. I've been had. Actually, you know what? You can just die like that. And you can die like that, too. Cool. Anybody else? You shot up into the stratosphere? Okay. Uh, one of those is going to give me a heart attack one day. I just know it. Ashwinder eggs. Very good. Always use more of these. And then we have a little cave. And... I guess we'll see what we find in there. Uh, hold on. Actually, let's equip some of our uh, potions here. Let's just equip the Maxima potion. Grab some of that. This while looks we're intriguing. at it. Revelio. Let's head into this cave. There just seems to be a lot of these little uh, caverns around, but most of the time it's just you go into a place and... Kill some things, get a box with something in it, Revenue. and uh, that's that. Like here, this seems to just be Incendio. a room with the box. 
with, you know, a robe that ultimately Revelio. serves as a cosmetic piece, though I think I already have that one, the decorative school robe, so. Yeah. Gear. I feel like they could have done a lot more with gear in the game. Hi, why are you guys always at the cave entrances when I go in? Are you following me? So, we have this canyon that we are going to go down. Oh, God. Hi. Glacius, confringo. You are incredibly fast. <laughs> There's a victory that came none too soon. It came oh. pretty soon. So there's a path that leads up there. But I think I'm just going to bypass it for now. So we head into this craggy... Oh, it looks really cool, though. Like, the, say what you will, the open world is beautiful. Like, this piece, this uprooted tree looks fucking awesome. And then we have ourselves a Ashwinder camp. Let's uh, let's slaughter them. Glacius, Confringo. I did you hear that? Think the physics is messed. <laughs> Ooh, you guys are actually uh, higher level. Confringo. No, don't think it matters too much. That's the best incendio. Confringo! You're going to regret that. No, I'm not. Incendio. Not that! Potato! He's dead all Incendio! Wow. Still no match for me. I bet you're different. Uh, chaining those no magic throws. My victory. No, no one to share my victory, indeed. I'm hoping at some point we can bring some of our, like, friends along. Like, we could bring Sebastian along to go. Well, I, I don't know if Sebastian's going to be the type to want to go and hunt poachers, but Natty, for sure. I think she's she's going to be onto that. Although, I don't know how... Nah, she, she wanted to do some extracurricular vigilante work, so I'm sure she'd be down with this. And uh, Poppy, I'm sure, has it out for the poachers. So maybe we'll get to go with her. So that's cool. I don't think we can actually walk any farther. <laughs> but let's get this uh, Merlin's trial. Could it be a Merlin trial? It absolutely could be. In fact, it is a Merlin trial. Well observed, Huron. Well observed. We have, I think, levitation stones. Over there, so. Levioso. Nope. Wingardium Levioso. Nope. Accio. Accio. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a look. There's something up there too. Oh God, what? They need to be turned. What does it mean? Wingardium Levioso. Like that, huh? Can we... I... Oh, wow. I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. You just continue floating there, or are you going to come down? Maybe I just wasn't in range. No. Not working. That is what we're supposed to do. Um... I just don't know... Damn it. What we're supposed to do with it. How do you turn it? How do you rotate an object? Ah, I get it. We're supposed to bring it as high as possible, and then we're supposed to get the other one. But I can't at this range. Or we're supposed to make a puzzle out of it. Not sure. Where's the other ones? There's another one up there. Damn it, one already fell. Wingardium Leviosa. Okay. Arresto momentum. Cool. I get it. This is gonna be hard. 
hard to do in time, especially if I keep fucking up my, uh... Come here. Let's get it. Did we do it? Or are there even more? No, that one's already fallen. No, it hasn't. Oh, they stay up there forever. Or at least for long enough. Arrest their momentum. Fuck. Okay. Wingardium Leviosa. Arrest their momentum. And now? You still floating? You are. Then there must be another one somewhere. Please actually stay floating. That'd be great. Don't fall down. Where Revelio. might we see another one? Oh, well, first off- oh no. They're, they do fall to the ground. At least that's- yeah. Up here. There's gotta be one up here. There's not. However, there is an ancient magic trace, so... Did we just do that, or is that gonna go elsewhere? I think it's gonna go elsewhere. Ah, no, it's here. We done with that? No, we have to follow it one more time. Grab these Ashwander eggs while we're at it. And quickly Revenue. look around, where might we find the rest of the ancient magic traces? here somewhere. I hear it. Is that it? What is this? Ashwander eggs. Okay. Interesting. Well, it didn't seem to actually load the texture in. <laughs> um, I don't know where it's supposed to be now. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. No doubt. Why are we Rebellion. forced to walk so slowly here? I wish you could more easily see the traces of the ancient magic. So you can hear them, I just can't see where they are. like it was here, but where? There's one other thing that I quickly wanted to uh, check. Right up here. There's clearly something. Yeah, look at that. Treasure chest. An unidentified face item, and here it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, here's two of them, even. Intriguing. Let's just drop down. We can. We can do it. Come on, I know you can. There you go. And he jumped onto the ladder anyways. That wasn't so difficult. Okay. And we have ourselves a second ancient magic trace. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we can burn our way out. Incendio. Here. Now, the question still remains of what do we do about this tower thing? I think we need to do something about rotating these. Yeah. But not all the symbols align. I see. I see. I think I get it. So there's a little we bit more that we need to do. We need to bring it up. Okay. And then we need to... Arresto momentum. Arresto momentum it. And then I think we can Accio it. Accio. Can we? We can't turn it. That's the problem. Wingardium Leviosa. Yeah, like we don't have any control over actually turning this thing. Unless force pushing it's going to do it. Let's try that. No. Arrest the momentum. I don't know, man. Dependo. Dependo? Ah, I get it. Okay. Okay. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, and then it probably doesn't matter if it falls. So it's going to be a bit of a, uh, a flipping puzzle. Come on. This would be made a hell of a lot easier if it was a little easier to control. I can't make this thing rise more than I did before. Maybe we don't need to. Arresto momentum. That was annoying. It just fell immediately this time. Leviosa. Can we? Come on. I had absolutely no problem making you levitate last time. Fuck. I am confused. Yeah, I'm like not able to make this thing go any higher, which is was absolutely not an issue before. But now, for some reason, I can't do it. I wonder if it's because I changed it. But it just, it just falls to the ground immediately. I'm just going to assume that that is where it's supposed to be then. Because if it's not, I don't know what to do about it. Yeah, see, that one rises perfectly fine. And now what? You're not going to rise anymore? Let me guess. You are. Fuck. Okay, arrest momentum. Arrest momentum first. It's, it's a little... Flipendo. Why does Flipendo do that to you? Like so, okay. But I don't think this is what is supposed to be happening. That might be. That looks promising, but it... Mm, it's like, it's opposite. No. Like so. There we go. I mean, that looks like how it's supposed to be. Okay, so now we know what to do. The question is, can we actually make this one work? Because I can't get you to fucking levitate more than a few inches off the ground, or more than like a meter. And then it just falls immediately to the ground. Which makes me think this one's bugged. Because uh, if I can't interact with it, I can't complete this puzzle. And there's not enough time. Unless I can default to it already? I can. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so that's what we need there. Um, hold on. Flipendo. Get this to the other side. Now you don't want to flip. You do. Okay. Now we can flip you, I think. Yes. Cool. Okay. So, it makes me think we don't even need to levitate them. That that was just a, a red herring. But maybe we do. No, we absolutely do not. Um, okay, that is correct. So then we just need to... Well, no, it's not. We just need to flip it over. Dependent. Like so. That's Problem solved. Settled. Okay. That one took a lot longer than needed to, for sure. Cool. We got it anyways. And now I think we fly. We fly the rest of the way, because uh, I don't think we can descend into this uh, gorge. Although we can with the broom, which is cool. What do we got here, actually? There's all these little alcoves. I wonder if there's actually something we can do down here as we move towards uh, the place where we actually want to be. Pretty cool. Definitely seems like there's... Yeah, there's, there's stuff here. Ah, an Inferi, huh? Confringo. Incendio. So, are there any more of you? There's something in here for sure. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Confringo. These guys don't like it's fire, sending. so let's give them fire. More stench of the dead. Delightful. You never have too much stench of the dead. Decorous classic school uniform. Okay, okay. Yeah. Seems like that was it. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, was there really a reason to go in here? Not so much. Getting to the point that I might ignore these little caverns. And just focus on the, the bigger open world things. Oh, where the hell are we? Actually, this is a, a proper lake. That's kind of cool. Is that the Merlin trial we did? No. So we missed a Merlin trial and we have something up here. What do we got up here? Castle. Or at the very least, a ruin. And what might be in this ruin? Revelio. It's Revelio here. Just a just a chest. With some glasses. Okay. Something else up here. I think this is uh shrubberies, yeah. Or some lace wing flies. Okay, let's find this Merlin trial. It was around here, so. Would like to get it done. There we go. These are useful. Oh, it's a oh. pleasant surprise. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we do with you? I'm gonna guess. Depulsor. No. Arresto momentum. Definitely not. Defender. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Confringo. Oh, we explode them. Okay. I hope this is what we're supposed to do. Enjoy suffering, do you? Oh, we've got some uh, baddies somewhere around here. Dying, and those balloons should do that as well. Those are quite easy rewards to get. Um, hmm. Where Rebellion. else might we have these? I... Ah, there's another one down there. Okay. And I almost died. No, not even close. But, uh... Um, so we gotta... Incendio. Gotta incendio this shit away, and then we can confringo, confringo. it. Not cool. so tricky after all. Great. Another Merlin trial completed. And, uh, let's fly through these balloons. We can now do very quickly. Because we have ourselves our first broom upgrade. Wow. Yeah, you do just, like, zip through. It's quite quick. Ooh. Uh, this looks like something. Oh, this day's gone on too long. We're gonna avoid that for now. I feel like this is something we can come to later. So I do actually want to get the Feldcroft, or I would like to try and get the Feldcroft today. But damn, this area looks really cool. It's not a it's not a lake, it's a bay. Or like an inlet. This is this is the sea. At least I'm pretty sure it's the sea. Let's get more of these balloons. Did I miss one over there? Back there? Yeah. I feel like I missed one back there. What is with this area? You know, this looks like an interesting area to explore, I will say. Seems like there's stuff here that we haven't seen too many other places. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was some 
weird glowing halo. Did, okay. Did I miss a balloon? Perhaps I didn't. Because I don't see one here. No. Enjoy suffering, do you? So this is like an entire. Almost, it, it looks like a fucking walk. Like, what's going on here, and why isn't the ministry dealing with this? I mean, we've gotten some hints as to the ministry just being the ministry, not the administry, that they're just incompetent at this point. But this, I think, goes beyond incompetence. I think there's a cover-up happening, and I wonder how involved uh, Mr. Black is, because he seems actively detrimental to uh, getting anything done at Hogwarts. Also cool, this tower. And we got a castle off in the distance. Hmm. And then we have Peltcroft itself, seemingly right in the middle of all of this. These rocks have seen better days. <laughs> It's a uh, kind of a a grim-looking town. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Sort of. We're a bit of dying, are we? What? We have dark wizards here too. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, this place looks kind of grim, but at the same time, it also looks cool. Let's let's do some stealing. Hello, Hamora. Break into some houses while we're at it. Sure, Sebastian won't mind that we're breaking into all the houses around his village. Okay. Where are you at? Do I need to do the outer one first? I see. Maybe we need to do the outer one first. Alright. In we go. A little bit of breaking and entering. Hi. I hope you all don't mind. Maybe they're gone. I'm hoping they're gone. Maybe I should just be sure. Use Stealtho. Revelio. Which is totally the name of the spell. It's pretty cool. They actually like modeled the inside of all of these houses. And we get ourselves a tanned cloak. Okay. Again, not something we needed. So, was there a point to doing this? Not really. There is an innkeeper, or not an innkeeper, but a uh, merchant. Let's quickly talk to them. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome, I am Bernard Indiai, and this mm. is my shop. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, what can you tell me about this hamlet? I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranrock. That must be what that I camp don't is. Know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. Okay, um... What do you have for sale? Well, let's see if we can give him a bit of business. I'm just going to sell him stuff. What are we in the market for today? Ingredients. Ah, you actually sell... Uh, ah, these are items that I think we can get from beasts then. Interesting. Okay, I don't need any of that right now. But I will sell all of our excess... A pleasure doing business with you. ...gear that uh, is underleveled. Okay, all of these we can equip, so let's... Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Of course. <laughs> I think I'm his only business at this point. Uh, we can't use that, because it's unidentified, of course. Uh, neckwear. We have uh, a scarf here and a scarf there. No traits, but I'm not using traits for any of these, so... Actually, we should put a scarf. Or we should at least uh, have a scarf on. It does look... Pretty okay. I wish there was a like a pure black one. Eh, nah. Nah. Outfit. 
<laughs> classy. Very classy. Okay. <laughs> Just going out in my pajamas. Uh, we'll sell the rest later. Don't need to worry too much about it right now. Um, let's actually go to Sebastian's house. Is this your house? Do you live in like a... That's kind of nice cool, you, actually. Wait, no, this is just where we're going to meet. We can wait here for Sebastian. You made it. Yeah, I waited here the whole fucking night. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No, so no I heard. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over Rookwood there. Rookwood Castle. Rookwood Castle. Ooh. My uncle Solomon is a former aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them, possibly with a wand, no less. A goblin I heard with a, a goblin wand. Refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. Hmm. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her. I need to understand what happened to her. Yeah. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. Ominous? I'm hoping a surprise right. visit from me and a new friend from friends. Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. Yeah, let's, let's go. This way. Nice little watchtower you guys have. It's very, uh, very cool. So it's that castle. Okay. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Yeah, it looked pretty With desolate. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. I was about to be, not those up. people, but they're My mannequins. My sister should be just inside. Okay. Nice little cottage. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Not even gonna but let him try? tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Leave. Oh my god, okay. He... I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I cannot. Actually, I can go inside. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Can we talk to her? We can. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adored teasing first years about spotting you mermaids started that? through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. We'll see what we can Between do about the goblins that. goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'm afraid it's really up to Sebastian, and his mind seems to be made up. I can only hope he realizes the futility of his search for a cure soon. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. As somebody who knows someone suffering from a... Uh... Not a mystery illness, necessarily. I'm also suffering from something of a mystery illness that uh, 
inflicts random bouts of pain to me, but as somebody who knows somebody that's suffering from something similar, it's hard to sit by and realize you can't do anything. So I totally understand Sebastian. Anyways, letter from Anne Sallow to Sebastian Sallow. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So Sebastian likes to snoop around. Dear Anne, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, Sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better. Okay. Well, it was good to actually speak to her. Let's talk that to him. That boy will fray my last nerve. Oh, yeah? Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Uh. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves I'm anytime soon. always making talk. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for do Anne you? and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. That is true. Who knows what he's going to get you himself into. I what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. But we should at least try. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. We need to exercise caution, Sebastian. I understand where you're coming from. And I am fully willing to help you out. But let's approach this from a measured, cool-headed perspective rather than from an emotional one, because who knows what you're going to get yourself into should you approach this with emotions running high. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. Hmm. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. Yeah, pain can do I that. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Good. That's that's progress. Grand we Rock's will. Loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. They won't be. But we'll deal with them. We will absolutely All deal the with them. All the you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Yeah. Exciting. Well, let's go check there, out. On that plateau is where they cursed Anne. Oh, we should definitely take a look. I mean, look, I'm invested. Anne seems like a really nice girl. And, uh, you know, just from personal experience, we expected to dig random bouts trouble. of pain. Man Rock knows what he's doing. It's we can an honor stop to be a that. part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard uh, in my places. Good uh, Ringo. Uh, We're going to do everything we can to, uh, to help Pan. She doesn't deserve the fate that has befallen to her. And, you know, all right, fair enough. Uh, you know, most people don't deserve to uh, suffer from an inexplicable curse of some kind. I'd say most, because... 
There's certainly some to do. <laughs> but, uh, most not. I have a pillow. Oh, wow. That was effective. Glacius. Confringo. Oh, yeah. We're doing pretty good. Let's kill him. Nice. So Sebastian seems very uh, in on just, you know, fucking these guys up, which, you know, fair, fair. He's, he's got every reason to be pissed. And, uh, you know, I'm with him there. I'm a action first, words later type of guy. Oh, You've hi. You've made your last mistake. Mm, no, no. That would be you, well. Nice armor, though. You're, uh... One less human to worry about. He, uh, he had a bad time. You did too. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, here. I'll have one of these. <laughs> oh man. God. Oops, I would like to. Incendio. Ooh, you came up behind me. Incendio. You not not gonna happen though. Oh, you know what? Here. Goodbye. I confess. Slow. That was a bit more than I'd bargained for. Relax. I tried to warn you. This Repairer. is... this is nothing. Why am I putting this back together? Fucking, I don't know, like, it belongs to someone, I guess. Someone's probably gonna appreciate that I... ...saved them some time in buying a new cart, or building a new one, or... ...trying to repair it. Although, they're probably wizards, so really, the amount of time that I saved them was, like... ...a minute. Probably less. A few seconds. Just, that was not a minute, come on. <laughs> I will say! You know, I may have said some, uh, I guess, critical things of uh, a lot of the points of interest on the open world and the gear system. I've, I've definitely uh, expressed my uh, dissatisfaction with the, the gear system. Not the transmog system or how the gear looks, mind you, just purely on a game's stats and progression. I don't like how the gear is done in this game. But the combat is fun. <laughs> it's fun. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. Good. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. Yeah. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something, yeah. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Yeah. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. Yeah. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Oh yeah, we're gonna Shall we have a look around? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sack both places. They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. What are they digging for? Hmm. It's very interesting, it's actually. It's the ministry isn't doing more. I'm thinking that they've got an insider in the ministry. Like, it is a wonder that the ministry isn't doing more. Like, Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. And I already commented on that earlier. Like, what the fuck is the ministry doing in all this? Like, surely they would consider this a threat, but they clearly don't, and that is not normal. And I'm suspecting, with the way how this game is telling stories, and it is telling stories in a fairly precise and 
you know, not leaving too many plot holes open, as far as I can tell. Like, I haven't really seen many concerning plot holes. Some minor little things, but really minor. So, you know, a lesser story might just be like, oh yeah, the Ministry doesn't want to get involved and come up with some bullshit reason for it that doesn't really make sense when you think about it. This is me. I'm, I'm an author, okay? I think I've said it several times throughout this playthrough, but in case you missed it, I'm an author. I write stories for a living. I, well, no, I don't. I would like to write stories for a living. I'm trying to write stories for a living. Uh, it's an arduous process. But uh, anyways, so what I'm what I mean here is there's definitely more to what's going on with the ministry than meets the eye. It isn't just a simple they're too busy or it's it's a matter of negligence. It it, it can't be that. This is too important and it's been mentioned one too many times, which is good. If they were if they weren't mentioning why it would be, I would actually be concerned that it's just lazy writing, but uh, they are mentioning it and specifically drawing focus to the fact that they're not getting involved. So... Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. This is a home? Rumor was a Hogwarts professor oh, lived here once. Oh, I guess they mean the whole thing. Ago. Hogwarts That's professor. What I heard. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Hogwarts professor. I'm guessing... I am guessing... It's the lady, um, I forget her name. The one that, uh, had the old magic, just like we did, that was trained by, uh, Percival Rackham and became a professor, uh, Mor Morganach or something? Something like that. The female statues may have something to do with it. If she was a Hogwarts professor, which she was, she was a Defense Against the Dark Arts professor. We know the goblins are using some sort of dark magic, obviously. This well looks familiar. Yeah, this is the... This is the hamlet that experienced the drought that uh, Rackham and uh, Old School Rookwood revitalized with magic. <laughs> and I would guess they were standing right about up there. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about all of it. I'm just really getting that suspicion that that is where we are. And that would definitely link the goblins to what we're doing here, which is interesting. Uh, can that actually be broken? But there's nothing in it. Okay, it can, it can be broken, yes, but there's no real reason to break it. Okay, and in here? Doesn't look like there's anything. Ah, but we can go inside, and Sebastian's in there, so I imagine we're going to encounter something. What about here? Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yeah. Confirmed. Confirmed. I was already, like, getting a bit suspicious that that was where we were even before uh, the first mention of it. What is that? Fucking stealth cows? Did it just cloak? All right. Didn't know they had that type of technology, especially the cows. Oh no, it's probably magic, actually. Yeah. All right. What you got? You're standing here for a reason. Mm hmm. That is a weird painting. Considering how paintings are supposed to be alive, that is even weirder. Sebastian, over here. Give me that money. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Yeah, yeah. This isn't regular fire damage. I was already being like, fire damage. Like, if a painting's suffering fire damage, the whole thing is going up, probably. And specifically the locations, like her face has been blotted out. This is probably a she, I'm guessing. I mean, wearing a dress and everything. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean so, but if this is indeed uh, Morganach, I'm going to call her Morganach until the game says otherwise. I think that was her name. Okay, we can blow that down. Um, she wanted to cure her father's basically terminal depression after the death of her brother, I think. 
I'm expecting that she turned to dark arts of some kind, which is going very full circle to uh, Sebastian here. I wonder if he's going to turn to dark arts to save his sister, who is also suffering. See some some mirrors. We should be careful. We will we will tread carefully. I'm not going to stop him. Might stop him if it's like becomes very clear that what he's trying to do is only going to make it worse. But perhaps dark magic may be the correct path towards curing Anne, and we should definitely try and cure Anne, even if even if we got a some moral corners to do so. That's fine. I'm willing to do that for Bast, for Sebastian, for Anne. Well, I'm willing to do it anyway. Hmm. Hmm. I'll be honest, I thought that would break. Oh, we just talked to him. All right. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? Yeah. What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The Keepers have shown me other memories as well. Morganach. yeah. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganach. She was one of the Keepers. The Keepers? Like in <laughs> Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm are you, not even sure you aren't going to explain it? That it's not the Keepers and in no, Quidditch? Not like Quidditch. Okay, you are. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers <laughs> hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? <laughs> the point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. I mean, I'd do it just for... Look at this. For Anne, anyways, but, uh... Someone piled this here for a reason. Yeah, oh, now. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Game restrictions. Oh, I was onto this. Yeah, we have a stairwell to our right. We can drop into a very foggy Rebellion. stairwell. First off, anything around? Nope. Okay, down we go. Into the creepy stairwell with the... Ah, these bastards again. All right. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Yeah. Tells me they're after something bigger. Revelio. I am inclined Lewis. to agree. Isidora Morganach's journal entry, one of seven. Okay. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all they can for them. Their, the grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. I see a journal it. entry of Isadora's. Yeah. I should hold on to this. And that's number two of seven. I see very much a road to hell paved in good intentions story arc coming. I traveled here to learn, but I also but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw a man leaving camp today, one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him now. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Uh, yep. Ooh, 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 I see, I see, get out of here. Um, yeah. Lumos. Lumos. So, just like the painting, her face is blotted out, and all of these statues do not have a face. Now, I might be reading too much into this, and they're just using a statue asset. I'm pretty sure I've seen this statue in Hogwarts 
as well. Then again, she was a Hogwarts professor. So that could totally make sense. And I know from the Souls games that you got to pay attention to stuff like this, especially with how this one, because this one's different. This one is holding something up in front of its face, a peculiar symbol that I can't really tell what it is. We'll call it a, a crescent with some sort of circle in it, and we're going to try and remember it. And then, of you course... You wouldn't believe this. I can see the Undercroft. Yeah. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me, too. Buddy, just you wait. Mm. Nope, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Stop it. The Bolso. No. Revelio. Speak with Sebastian, okay. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. <laughs> I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. Yeah. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft <laughs> from here. This will be floored. <laughs> Ominous will be floored. We can. <laughs> But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. Hopefully we can actually I'm bring him to through hold it. my breath. I don't know if that's Rebellion. necessary. Let's go. Let's enter the Undercroft. No seamless uh, walking through this time, unfortunately. That was cool how they did that before, but... I'll accept the load screen here. That's fine. Why would the door lead us here? Good question. Sebastian, look. Hmm. That is odd. That's a piece of a map. For sure. Maybe. It's a piece of something. Why hide a triptych here? That's a triptych? Seems as if something's missing. Yeah, seems as if a lot of stuff is missing. And we have Let's this. Have a look. That's a clue. A rune diagram. Okay, not a map. This, however, is a clue. Are we going to actually have a proper Elden Ring painting puzzle? I'm excited. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't make out any of this. Sorry, my knowledge of, uh, Harry Potter occult magic symbols. I mean, okay, that one I recognize. That is, of course, our ancient magic symbol, but everything else, uh, no, no. You know, if this was, like, Solomonic key, you know, 72 seals, some Enochian on it, then, then we could talk. But, alas. Anything helpful in the notes? Not really. <laughs> A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. Okay. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? Wouldn't be surprised. I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. Uh, okay. I didn't see any hmm. traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. Uh, I'm still not ruling that, that out. that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. Yeah. There's still so much we don't know about it. Yeah. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Perhaps then we'll have to indeed. unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? Is you did so? not. Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Ooh. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Yeah, we're gonna need his help. I'll be in touch. Sebastian's Go got contacts. Ominous definitely, uh, Ominous may not trust us, but he, he knows his stuff. 
And the two of them, I think, can dig up quite a lot of intel for us that we otherwise might not be able to get on our own. So I think it's going to be good to keep Sebastian in the loop in case there's something we encounter that he might be able to help us on. Even if we don't necessarily think that he can help us, you never know what he might learn. It's always good to collaborate and share information with certain people, even when it's a secretive topic. You know, you never know what another viewpoint might read. All right, everybody, that's going to be all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I certainly have the story, Sebastian's story uh, with his sister and everything. It's fascinating. I, I want more of it. Thus far, uh, I'm, I'm really liking his character. He's uh, he's cool, very nuanced. You know, he's got that he's got that Slytherin competitiveness a little bit, very devious, but also kind of straightforward, which, you know, normally aren't traits that uh, always align together very well. But in a well-written character, they absolutely can. All right, everybody, leave it a like if you've enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Catch Herder out.